In this video, we're going to take a look at factoring out the greatest common factor of a polynomial, and look at how we can shortcut our work. Normally, when we're factoring out a greatest common factor on an expression like 21x cubed plus 14x squared plus 7x, we will look to see what we can divide each term by. Here, you see each term is divisible by a 7, and each term has an x to the first in common because we use the lowest exponent. That 7x that we divide each term by will go in front of the set of parentheses, and then the remainders can fill in the parentheses. 21x cubed over 7x reduces to 3x squared, plus 14x squared over 7x is 2x, plus 7x divided by 7x is 1. Be very careful, when the GCF divides out completely, recall that when we divide, we are left with 1. It does not disappear. That's a common error that I see students run into all the time. However, showing this work in the middle, the dividing by 7x, seems redundant because we're just going to write the 7x in front of the parentheses. To take a shortcut, let's skip this middle step and see if we can just jump right to the factored form. In this next problem, 12x to the 5th, y squared, minus 6x to the 4th, y to the 4th, plus 8x cubed, y to the 5th, we can see they're all divisible by 2. They all have an x cubed in common. That's the lowest exponent. They also all have a y squared in common. That's the lowest exponent. And so we will pull that out in front of the parentheses and fill in the parentheses with what's left when we divide by 2, x cubed, y squared. 12 divided by 2 is 6. x to the 5th, divide out 3x's, we're left with x squared. y squared, divide out y squared, leaves none behind. Minus 6 divided by 2 is 3. x to the 4th, divide out x cubed, leaves an x behind. And y to the 4th divided by y squared leaves a y squared behind. Plus 8 divided by 2 is 4. The x cubes divide out completely. And y to the 5th divided by y squared is y cubed. And we have our final solution. 2x cubed y squared times 6x squared minus 3xy squared plus 4y cubed. Let's do this again with one more example. In this last example, we have 18 a to the 4th b cubed minus 27 a cubed b cubed plus 9 a squared b cubed. Identifying the greatest common factor, you'll notice each term is divisible by 9. Each term also has an a, and the lowest exponent is squared. Each term also has a b, and you'll notice they all have b cubed. What's left when we divide out the 9a squared b cubed will go inside the parentheses. 18 divided by 9 is 2. a to the 4th divided by a squared leaves behind a squared, and the b cubed divides out completely. Minus 27 divided by 9 is 3. a cubed divided by a squared is a, and the b cubed divides out completely. Finally, 9 divides out, a squared divides out, and b cubed divides out. However, remember that when every term, every factor divides out, we aren't left with 0, we're left with a positive 1. And that completes our solution. Identify the GCF and put it in front of parentheses, and what's left after dividing each term by that number, or that term, goes inside the parentheses.